Here is a photo submitted by Sid. You can see his name in the bottom left. He got his Serpentine Visage at Zora on his 11th kill count, which is absolutely crazy. Congrats to him, and why can't I ever have luck like that on, you know, like, anything, any games, real life. Just kill me now. Let's get started with the video. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. What is up guys, I'm back on Allura, there are so many more people hyped in on the forums and online than there was yesterday, and there was still like 160 on yesterday. That's Zenitar's second Bandos piece since I have been on, that's phenomenal. Anyway, there are 212 on right now, there was like 250 on earlier, and once again I can't fit it all in here, but there was 520 people on the forums today. And there are 196 on the forms right now. So that is just ridiculous for it to be. I think this is the second day. And how much hype is built around this server. Almost 600 on in the second day. The most that were online on forms were 547. So that is just, that's a great site right there to be completely honest. But other than that. Before I jump into what I'm going to be doing. I decided I'm not going to do an Iron Man just because that's such a big struggle for me considering i really don't know what the fuck to do when it comes to iron man and i kind of say that with dissatisfaction but at the same time don't really mind either way yeah i'm gonna hop right into it i'm probably not even gonna make this a road to max i mean technically that's what i'm going to be doing but say i'm like max combat and i want to go bossing or something i'm going to go bossing i'm not going to go try pushing for skills i haven't grinded out yet so the name of the series will probably be like alora adventures episode one two three so forth and so forth other than that there's also one other thing i kind of want to talk about before i jump into it sorry for the kind of long intro is i'm going to try at the beginning of each each episode if people actually do you know pm me on forms or whatever like their loot so say kind of like i know it sounds stupid or something like that but kind of like a spark mech live thing so say somebody gets bandos tassies on kill count three they screenshot the kill count in the inventory and send them to me on forms and i'll feature them in the beginning of the video and it doesn't even have to be just lucky drops it can be anything funny that they get a screenshot of anything funny that they record or just like say they have they just hit 500 arma kill count even something like that i would feature just to you know just to give a little bit more of i don't really know like a um publicity to smaller people you are so dumb you are really dumb for real people in the community and stuff like that and to just make the content a little bit better but without hesitation i think i'm gonna just jump right into thieving because i really need some cash to get like a dragon scimitar right now I missed it because I was talking, but we did just hit 41 thieving. I pretty much wouldn't show that if I was doing anything else, but that does mean we can steal from the general stall. And the general stall gives ruby rings, which are 1k more than the emerald rings. So I'm probably going to get to like, I want to say like 70 thieving, and then I'm going to move on. Let's see. Probably about 70 thieving, and then I'm going to get whatever I need. I need 60 thieving for that. I'll probably just get to 60 or 70. And then I'm going to sell all that stuff and probably just jump right into training some combat. I really, really need to start Slayer. That is obviously a must. I'm going to get Carpal Tunnel from clicking all this. It's not like I have RS Klein or anything, you know. There's no such thing as auto-clickers. I mean, you shouldn't auto-click. That's just, that's just fucking, I don't know, that's just lazy. Oh god, I'm sinking with it. So I was just voting as you can kind of see up in the top right corner. And I remember how annoying it used to be to vote on a RSPS because you would go through like four or five of the top lists and you would literally have to put in the, I can't really say, you know what I'm talking about, like where you type in the whatever's on screen, they give you something to type in. Now it is literally, you click on the top list, it pops up, you click that you're not a robot and you vote. And it's literally like two or three clicks per top list, but nonetheless, I did just vote, let's see what we get. All right, you go ahead and come over here, you put in your auth code right here, claim auth, put in the auth, and then you get a book. And then I'm pretty sure you just click the book and it gives you 20 vote points, 
Let's take a look at the vote shop real quick. So this is the vote shop as you've seen in my server tour. I probably will say for one of the rings because they're really cool and I don't really need anything else here. Depends on, I might just get like a one of these pets, but they are expensive. But they would probably really be worth it to be honest. Or a ring of wealth as well. Ring of wealth is only voting two times pretty much. So I might go with that at first and then work on something bigger. We just hit 60 thieving boys. I'm going to go ahead and probably go get that dragon scimitar and the rest of my rune and go train some slayer. Our first slayer task of ever on Alora. We got 29 yaks which pretty much suits the combat level and the stats I am right now. So that should be pretty fairly easy and some good XP at my level. Just hit 60 attack. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this. Never mind. I'm not even about to waste my time with that. 60 attack. That means I'm going to move on to some strength and get all these 60 before I pretty much go past 60 on any of them. Unless I mess up like I always do and go one over because I'm not paying attention. But probably next episode, if you want to stay tuned, I will try doing one of the quests that they have. I don't know what. I'll check the requirements here in a little bit and try to figure out which one I might knock out. But next episode, be prepared because I'm probably going to do some questing because I've never did a quest on any RuneScape private server, which is kind of cool that they actually have working quests. I don't know if they're full length like RuneScape or if they're custom or something like that, but I will definitely have to figure out. Also about to hit 25 Slayer. I just hit 60 Strength, so now let's move on. The defense, come on, try getting this to 60 without going over, and it'll be decent. I might even get them all 60, including HP. That'd be pretty crazy. But let's just finish up our task. I'll get back to you when I get 60 defense and when I finish my task. This right here should be 60 defense, and now I'm probably going to move on to strength. Get that up to about 75 or 80 before I do anything else. We're also at 31 Slayer and 60 HP. I was right there, all 60s right there. And we only have 20 more to go. And then I think I'll probably grab another task and maybe go do some some actual skilling. I do need to get my prayer range and mage up. That's for a fact. But right now I'm just going to work on probably just my Slayer. Just finished my Yak task and that leaves us at 44 Slayer. My attack and defense are still the same. I did get 70 HP and almost 80 strength. So I think I'm going to go grab one more task. And depending on what it is, I'm going to go ahead and do it. 73 Moss Giants. Rip my life. Um, I might as well go ahead and neck myself before I do that. So I'll be right back. You're in Walmart. This guy just walks up smacks your girl on the ass what are you gonna do oh buck tooth looking ass bitch i missed it because the xp went up a little bit but we did get well we got 19 hunter but i'm just worried about 17 hunter because then we can go ahead and use the butterfly net on the baby impling so i'm gonna probably go ahead and do that let's leave these traps here i don't really care about them so let's go get a butterfly net and figure out what we're gonna do next and from the three bones that we got for the bird snares from the birds, we ended up getting 24 prayers, so that's not bad at all. I can't... Is there even baby implings in Pearl Pearl? Magapie, I literally cannot find a baby impling anywhere. There's one. Way the fuck over the... Of course. Be right back. Alright, I got it. Get over here. Do not... Do... Hello? You better not fuck... Oh, you're going to laugh about it. Can I really not? Oh my god, if you go any farther, you think I can get it? I think I can get it this one right right now. What the fuck? He literally keeps... Come back. Hello? Oh, I'll be back in a year. Are you kidding me? Well, I finally got one. I better have got like... I got one level from it. I got one level from it. What's the next level? Young Implings at 22. Well, it's fine. I probably won't be able to catch them for a year. Let's just go ahead and open it real quick. Shit. We literally got... Come here. If I don't get this first try. I did. Let's open this one. Three seeds. He literally keeps going back and forth and back and forth and saying tee hee hee hee. 
fucking catch the thing. This one right here. Oh. My. God. This one. Bye. Bye. I'm leaving the server. Alright. Ten years later I caught him. Let's go ahead and open it. I'm going to say a one drink of a defense pot. Fishing bait. Seven. Seven fishing bait. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go ahead and that means we can move to the young ones, which are probably nowhere to be found. This is literally the worst thing I've ever did in my life. Hunter triggered me so much that I am probably ending the episode right here. We ended up getting some pretty good gains though. 60 attack, rip my phone. 78 strength, 60 defense, 70 HP, 60 thieving, almost 25 prayer. Fuck Hunter and almost 45 slayer so next episode like i said i'm gonna do some questing for more some adventures throughout allure to kind of spice it up a little bit and maybe once i max out combat i'll probably do some barrows runs get my definitely get my range up because range is used for a lot of bossing and stuff like that but other than that i'll see you guys in episode two